And that is a good time to enter. Hello, Indicade. What is going on with you? Happy Thursday. Welcome to Game Audio Life. I am your host, Chase Bathia. You are rolling with me for the next couple hours. And yeah, it's going to be a good one. We're going to be continuing on from what we did last week, but a little bit of housekeeping. So I just want to invite new people who are new to the stream. Again, welcome to Indicade. This is Game Audio Life. And what is Indicade? So Indicade is a international independent games festival. It's been around for about 15 years. They've got champion games, creators, voices. They do highlights of innovation and pretty much shares a taste of the future of what games would be like around the world and such. And yeah, it's super great to be on this platform. I'm thanking the entire Indicade team from the bottom of my heart to be able to share my behind the scenes composing process with you. So I'm gonna get rid of my let it die shades just for a brief moment. I kind of typically, this is typically what I usually do, kind of just make a little bit more fun. A shout out to the chat. Let's see. Uh, shout out to Epless for the mod. Home team game dev. Woo. What's going on? How are you doing? It's good to see you in the chat. We all glad you made it out today. Yeah. So what are we doing? We're writing farm ceiling later music. No, we're not. Well, we are working on some kind of like background music for this and such. And I think it's going to be really good because... I want to kind of keep it just kind of like the vibe you were pulled into right now, just really smooth, relaxing, Work. feel free to work lurk, feel free to ask me any questions about my process, what's going on, but I'm just going to kind of dig through and talk about a little bit of the stylistics that we kind of do. But I want to show the game first, and it looks like this. I talked to developers, so you're going to be probably getting some updates about, I want to say, every couple of weeks or so. but. I asked them to send me something new and they really surprised me. So you're going to be surprised with me live here just right now. Let's do it. Game is loading. I'm going to mute the music for it though. You rarely ever hear me say that, but just because I want you to get a feel of what, no, I'm going to leave it on, but because I, I really not, not realize what it's going to be. So the game is called heroes farm. The full title is called, My Children Are Off To Be Heroes, But Someone Has To Tend To The Farm. Let's go to single player. Let's start a new game. Yeah, let's do this one. So this is all new. This is, this was not here last stream. They've entirely got some new art, so it looks fantastic. And now the music is in it. This is all placeholder. This is a work in progress. The art is a work in progress. These assets are not the main assets for the game, so we're just trying to figure out the mechanics. But listen to how the kind of music is fitting the atmosphere. Uh oh, we got a little angry man over there. Chopping down those branches. All right, let's try that. So we should be able to do some that there. If you know how to garden, please feel free to like help me out in the chat. I am terrible. I do not have a green thumb. My girlfriend bought me like a plant and it was like, wow, <laughs> fits newer art as well. So this music I didn't show last stream. This music I already did. This music is the day music. Daytime music cycle. percent accurate gardening situation home team help me out i am not used to gardening <laughs> so i got i got a, i know i got a hoe then i got a shovel then i got water oh i can talk to them let's talk to them nice day isn't it it is a nice day how is your day going in the chat we want to trade things at the market do we want to enter the tavern Send food to the capital. No, not yet. Home team in the chat saying, I've gone outside 10 times in adult life, and every time was a 10 to indicate, so I cannot offer much gardening advice. <laughs> That's fair. All right, let's get back to it. Let's pause 
pause just for us, just a second. Sweet. All right. Let's chop up some branches. All right, and then I guess we'll dig a hole. We did that. Let's put the water in. Try to plant something. Oh, there we go. We did it. So the sequence is one, three, five. And maybe we can chop this with four. I'm starting to get the hang of this, and it's really good because I don't want to not get the hang of it. We got a little bud. Look at this little rosebud here. All right. So there's a night cycle going to happen. Let's just play a little bit more. We'll get into the music. So I do know that the demo, if you join the ground server, they are going to change it to the Fancy Fish Games dev server. But they are going to be releasing the demo of this that I'm playing to very soon. So you can get your hands on it and check it out. I know the cloud layering is, is great, right, home team? some more. So the sequence is one, three, five. Yeah, I love this. It's great. And so we'll be able to build a house, I think, here too. Oh, the sun's almost going down. I know, right? So shout out to So, shout out to, there's only there's two artists on the team, and it really come together from the concept. So, shout out to Red Owl for Fancy Fish, for putting it in. It's super great. Should we put some here too? Yeah. Did it, we got to tend our cops though, because we didn't do so well. We can use some water, okay. Let's, let's water our cops. And I like that it can tell you to inspect it. It seems to be growing well. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to wait for the night cycle happens. And here it is. You can see the color change happening. There it is. And then now, I think this would be a good moment to transition in... Where is it at? This one? Yeah. All right, so now, as we transition into that, Let's listen to this music. This is the nighttime music. This is what we decided. Make sure that we're inspecting our crops. It seems to be going well. fit the night cycle pretty well. I'm gonna add a couple instruments into it today and I got some inspiration. Big Wiggle McChicken Fingers in the chat. Did I just watch you water the plants by whacking it with a sword? <laughs> so that's amazing. Yes, but understand this is a work in progress, so there will be animation changes along the way. All right, let's check our crop. Seems to be growing well. Let's check our other crop. Night music is almost over. We're going to expand on that just a bit. <laughs> Best thing you ever seen, though, is whack it with water. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, 
get back on all of that. Let's get into the music thread. I want to see what uh, Home Team Game Dev is saying in the chat. Said uh, that was a solid stack of low altitude cumulus congestus we were witnessing rolling in front of the serious layer of feathery from glaciation in real life could be moving at the same speed or faster, but due to major altitude difference, often appears to be nearly stationary. Hashtag cloud facts. P.S. Night music is lovely too, of course. <laughs> Appreciate it. Speaking of night, they're doing a great job with the, how the clouds are obscuring. Yeah, I'm super great that I'm so nerding out with. Your, so, home team is talking about like this how the cl clouds are kind of going along with like the moon cycle and such. Look at this. So, this is like almost semi typical of what would happen in real life and what we're speaking about too. <laughs> No, but it's it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's happening for... Let's have another music, shall we? So we've got some work to do. I had an idea over the break from the past week to do, to add an instrument to make this stand a little bit more that may not be normal to add. And I'm going to add it live right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on Cubase. For those of you who don't know, I use Cubase to write all the music that I write for games. It is amazing. They do not endorse me. So I am not getting paid to say that. I just genuinely like them. I'm going to pull up a contact instrument. Contact is a sampler. And let's go with... Oh, what I wanted to announce was I just had a meeting today with the developers of the game, and I'm excited to announce that I get to use audio middleware for the first time. So I've been working with them for about seven years, and we have, we've been doing all the audio implementation organically, like just through the engine, meaning no audio middle whatsoever. So I've been making stuff interactively happen for the previous titles that Fancy Fish Games has done just by doing code. So don't ask me how I did it. We just just make it happen but i'm super excited because i get to show that here i'm going to download fmod we're going to get it set up and then hopefully the next stream i get to show this music and then probably implement it in the game and then play around with different stuff it's so excited you have no idea it's gonna be great so what is that instrument you say that you're going to add in that nobody knows about just yet it is a road piano a road keyboard rather and let's pull down the volume, just to be sure that it's good. Let's rename it Roads. Now there's two different two different roads I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add like a ethereal roads, and I'm gonna add this roads and maybe like soften it up a little bit. Pull down the volume. And where I'm gonna I'm gonna need to decide where I'm gonna kinda put it. I think I'm gonna put it in the beginning. So let's make a loop track of that. What I'm going to do is I've already got the chord structure set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to open it up, copy it all. All right, there we go. And let's just listen to it by itself. All right, so we've got to do a little bit of gain staging. So let's, what that means is I'm basically going to pull it down so we have some dynamic room. So I'm going to give it like a negative four. Let me see how big the background music is. It's a games one only. <laughs> yeah, the background music, it makes a difference when playing. And I'm trying to make it whereas and it's all inclusive and it's just there together so that it's not obtrusive at all. And that's my biggest thing that I want to focus on. So yeah. Do do. Let's go with pulling it on the right output, and then let's. Okay. So what I'm looking for now is a small delay. I think I'm going to go with this delay I haven't used in a while. It's called Spot Isotope, Dynamic Delay. And what I'm looking for is this tail. Um, the, reaver, the roads will sound really nice with the tail, so if I choose the right tail, it should kind of glue it together. Watch it come together. It mixes. 
Yes, exactly. And this is typically, I'm so glad that Big Mick Wiggle, Big Wiggle, and Eblis in the chat are talking about like how the music comes together and the satisfaction of seeing like how how much effort is going into it. And that's really why I decided to do these type of streams is to show like, hey, you want music for your game? It's not just well, that didn't work very well. It's not just doing this and then if and everything's together. But it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of things that come together and then even more bes so behind everything else. And that's typically like some people watch art streams and see how they make something from this. This is exactly what I've been wanting to do. And I'm so glad, like I said, to bring this to the entire platform. We are going to put the delay on the output, excuse me, of the send. <laughs> exactly. It just, it only scratches the surface. It's not all there. What is this? Is this the same thing? Oh, it is. Okay. Ah, let's see. So we have that there. Let's listen to it again. Okay, so it's not happening. We need to reset it. Let's do it again. All right, it's almost there. Now pull it down and volume let's uh let's boost it a bit let's give it like a 2 db boost it needs more than that okay it's it's there it's just not prominent enough. So I'm wondering if we just turn up the feed. Turn it up more. Very subtle, but it's there. I'm looking for that nice tail. So do you see the music in your mind before you make it? Do you go based off idea? Basically everything. So it depends on the project. So, Big Wiggle McChicken Fingers is asking, so do you see the music in your mind before you make it, or do you just go based off of an idea? Well, basically, what are you thinking about? What is your thinking process behind the music composition you create? So I'm looking for the mood. When I'm playing this game, and I'm looking at all the art, and how the clouds are moving, and the feeling, and the, the breathing, and the water reflections here, I'm getting moved by the art. And I'm thinking, what is this going to sound like? And I know that if I'm doing, when I'm playing the mechanics and I have these actions back and forth, that's going to give me the pace of what the game is going to tell me to do. And this is really important because this is what players are going to be experiencing. Luckily, I'm a player first. I've been playing games all of my life. Some people start piano at seven. I started Game Boy at seven. <laughs> so, and sound tests and all that other stuff. So I've been, and I was playing an instrument around that time too. But in conjunction with those two, this is typically what I'm thinking about. So for this piece, I, we, when we started it last week, and I believe you were in the chat hanging out, I wanted to do a melody, but I wanted to get a chord feeling of pace first. Chords give you like this, I knew that I wanted pads, or I wanted this smoothness, I wanted this softness, and that's what I wanted to achieve. And then we wouldn't do the melody. The melody I find easier once I find the chords. Or I could do the melody without the chords, and now I know how to do both. Before I struggled at least a year ago to be able to do that. But right now we're looking for texture, and texture is important because that's really going to tell us what the game is about, the identity of the game. So, for example, if I were to just play that chord, right? You didn't, and someone in the room was playing the game. You'd be like, oh, this is Hero's Farm. 
right? It has that sonic identity for you. You already know that it starts off flush like this, or maybe you heard it all in context. You put like, oh, I know that game. That's Heroes Farm. That's what I'm trying to achieve. And so by breaking it down instrument by instrument, I'm able to get that texture and that sound. Speaking of that texture, let's tie into this. So I don't want it too loud. I think I need to. I think there's something going on with the mixer here too. Let's take out what we don't need to see. Put in what we do need to see. Okay, so it's really low. Let's pull this back up a little bit. So I'm not happy with this delay. I'll tell you why. It doesn't have that feeling that gives me the goosebumps. And when I'm writing music, I typically look for something that gives me this sensation in my arm, whereas and it feels good. When I, know, when I get that sensation, I know I did something right. Now we have it. for that feeling, searching for it. I don't want it to be. Almost there. Do it again. Probably want to try a little experiment. We're going to add another delay onto it. And out of all the games you made music for, do you have a favorite composition? Mm, good question. Sorry, I had to clear my nose there. <laughs> I do I have a favorite composition? It depends on the day, honestly. If you can see in the lower left corner, there's there's a catalog there that of of such. Let's see if one pops up. Let's see if there's one that I was thinking about that I was like, oh, well, that one I was nominated for in 2016. That can't escape darkness one by VGMO, best artist of the year, and. Super Happy Fun Black was fun. Unfortunately, you can't play that on the mobile store anymore, but that, at least the soundtrack exists, so you can definitely check that out. I don't know if I have a favorite one. Um, even the ground one, I'm thinking. Thank you, Big Thank you, big Wiggle. I appreciate it. Yeah, the, it depends on the day. Uh, there's some where... Oh, you know what? In Deity Quest, I have one that I really like, and that one, uh, that's a huge soundtrack too. But yeah, I want to say... It's Nemia's Alibi, maybe? No, Deranged. That's the one. That one gets me all the time. There's a couple of those in there. I was like, wow. Let's try this delay thing here. Uh, put that in there.
There it is. That's what I was looking for. What, is it doubling? It's not doubling, is it? <laughs> Favorite movie, yeah. It's okay. I, I appreciate you chatting. Please feel free to ask me anything that, uh, that you want to know about the music career such of, of my previous catalog and things. I, 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 I like it. What happens if we do this? Okay, let's try and fit it in. play it again. So this needs to actually be changed a little bit. This can't come in sooner than it should. And let's see. Let's listen to it again. That's better. Let's make, let's make the edit to that too. The infamous question, how did I get started in making music for games? And what pulled you in and made you decide that this is what you wanted to do? Ah, uh, yeah. I love this one. Um, this would be good. <laughs> I tell this story differently all the time for the past nine years. It's because my brain is like figuring out all the ways to do it. I got started making music in games with the game called Electron Flux. It was my first actual paid gig and first ship title that I did in 2011. And I knew that I should be working in games for the past seven years, but I didn't really f know how. Like I didn't really research it until 2008. And when I researched it, then I went back to school, got a composition, got into the composition program, finished all of my courses for at least up to the point of where community college could take you. <laughs> we get through the tough questions today. Yes, it's, it, it, I love it. I love it. Bring it, please. It's great. This is what I look for. And so, yeah, I bought this book called The Complete Guide to Game Audio by Aaron Marks. I should get a check by now every time I say it, but Aaron is an amazing author. He's, he's great. He's on the third edition now of the book. And I got through half the book, and then that's what led me to posting my music online to gamedevs.net, which I don't think it's around anymore. And I knew that I needed a portfolio work, so I went into the hobby section of it, but it ended up being a paid gig. And I still have to check to this day, whereas and I look at that to remind me of, of where it came from. But I, like I said, I should have been doing it. I've been working with game music for a long time, if I think about it, since I was making music on MTV Music Generator. And I was... Yeah, always figuring out music, other things with like other ways to in the compositions and stuff. But always pretty much like listening to it and then just getting enthralled. But I knew that was the case. I was working at an internet media company when someone had said, your music should sound like it should be in a video game. And this is after I wrote like a Castle Crashers type score. I should find that score. And... I was like, I want to be in Castle Crashers. That doesn't seem too un unattainable. And like, it doesn't look like the big AAA games like God of War and the PS2 era for that time. And I was like, okay, cool. Wolf Cadet, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Super glad you enjoyed us. I'm, ta I'm talking about how I got started in game music and what made me decide to be in it. But yeah, IT person at the at my job was like, this sounds like should be in Castle Crashers. And then and that's when I did a little bit more research and figured out how to kind of do it. And my first thing that I did if you go on my YouTube channel, you dig, you dig enough, you'll find a Shadow of the Colossus trailer. And that was my first, I did two things. I did a capture card of Gran Turismo and then wrote some like 
music to that and then did a, like a demo of Gran Turismo. It's still on my YouTube to this day. And then I did a Shadow of the Colossus rescore of because I thought that it, the movie was coming out and Joshua Trank was the director and I was like, I want to do that movie. I have to do that movie. So I decided to just write a whole new thing. So, and then I was also writing demos of the new Tomb Raider game in 2016 because I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan from like 1996. I love Nathan McCree's like... I love his scores for that stuff. So I got in a couple different ways. There's a lot of inspirations I would say that gave me that gave me the extra push of like getting more of a like I said, really the direct story, bought the book, got halfway through the book, posted on gamedev.net, submitted my work, wrote another demo for the pitch because it was gonna be between me and a couple of the composers, and then landed the gig and shipped the game like less than a year later. Yeah, Castle Crash is great. But yeah, my music was compared to that, so I thought I'd give it a shot, and here I am. That fits better. This gives that texture that I was talking about, so this works. Now what we need to do is we need to EQ it. Thank you, Wolf Cadet. Yeah, it is a hell of a compliment. I received some others further down the line for their ground soundtrack. I was compared to like Brian Eno and it was told like I was a God Gives to Music and Apex Twin. Like I was, I was like crazy. <laughs> I was like, I'm so honored. Thank you. All right, so that should cover that. I think it's a bass. Let's listen to it. That gives it some character. Let's not compress it so much. And let's not excite it so much either. And it's not being excited that much. Let's turn it down though still. Let's listen to it again. I actually didn't start working with Fancy Fish Games until they were doing the One Game a Month channel challenge one game a month challenge and they were doing i can't escape and i just started writing music i was already in school so i used the time that i didn't have homework to just write music and then get my portfolio built up because i knew i needed the portfolio and that's what i was doing when can you play this game with this awesome music so that's a good question if you go to the I believe if they're posting, the mods are posting in the chat, but there is a ground Discord. The name will probably change soon. But if you go to that Discord and then you join and then you go to the channel of Heroes Farm, you would be able to kind of check all of that stuff out and they will be releasing the beta via there first. So that is the, thanks for joining in because there's your sneak peek of, of figuring uh, how to get the beta. Or alpha beta, I don't know what it's going to be. This is sounding more clear. All right, it's a little hot though. Let's pull it down. We can pull this down too. Oops. There we go. Pull this back up a little bit. Um, I can get that link. I think that should work. Yeah, that tail. That's what I was looking for. Got small goosebumps. Got a small goosebump in there. Let's get into it more. I want this most more smooth.
still a little bit ahead. We gotta kind of tighten it up a little bit. Might be that. Move it back here. Adjust it a little again. Right, let's go into the next section. <laughs> Thank you, Eplas. Appreciate it. Okay, so something was bothering me last time I made this. And we listened, I gave it a couple listens. Okay, so that's that little ding 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 ding. I'm probably gonna have a real chat angle player. I knew one from college and I remember that he loves video game music. <laughs> he loves the game Chrono Cross, which I haven't played, but I played a lot of Chrono Trigger. But I will rectify the Chrono Cross thing. Um, we're gonna control those peaks. Actually, we're not gonna, we'll just do it. Let's not do it with the compressor. Let's do it with the actual tools that are professional. Thank you so much for rolling with me today. Make sure you give the IndyK channel a nice follow. So profesh, super pro, profesh. Let's go with the transient designer. We wanna control the peaks of the plucks. So we're gonna do that. Adjust our sharp to smooth. They're more controlled. And then we'll add the compressor right after. Take the equalizer off. We don't need to do any of that. Listen to where it gets squashed and then adjust it accordingly. There we go. Add the attacks a little bit more. At least we're fine. We can attack a little bit more. Fancy schmancy technology. <laughs> there we go. That's better. What programs are you even making music? <laughs> it's always coming up, right? <laughs> I need to have like a little list in here, like things deleted, interviews and stuff like that. I, I love it. It's great. So I use Cubase and this is what I've used for all of the discography that you see in the lower left corner, I should say like previous work, I'm gonna adjust that probably like over the weekend and such. But that's what I've used for all of the soundtracks I've done and the ones that I've released and, uh, online and everything for the games that I've shipped with. So Cubase. There we go. Now there's might be something else we can do. This, there's a little bit of areas here. We want it to still sound like organic. Okay, it's still plucky. Let's pull it down the volume. We don't want to compress over compress it, so let's try to work with this attack. Oh wait. There we go. I was I was attenuating the attack instead of smoothing the attack out. Silly me. Down means. Okay, see that's too much. Let's turn the compressor off. Alright, so it is a transient. Let's go back to the number two. So we turned it down in volume. Let's go back up. 10, 9. You're welcome, Wolf Cadet. You're welcome. This should do it. So, one thing I don't even mention. 
reference tracks are good for this. I actually wrote something that I feel like it's close to one of my favorite games. I did not pull inspiration from this, but I can tell from this like plucking thing that it's giving me some small ideas. And we're gonna go to the near gestalt. This is always good for reference when you wanna kind of compare your work to professional work in that regard. Um, I wanna say Song of the Ancients. Any near gestalt fans in here? Not near automatas, but near gestalt. I haven't played automata yet. One of the best soundtracks of our time. All time doesn't exist unless you've lived for centuries. <laughs> our time though, that's a different story. Um, I turned off. I'm listening to the attack of the guitar. And the, the vocals are nice. But I, I'm looking for the specific track that happens in the game. And is this the one? There we go. If you never heard of it, you're going to be a fan today. So the plucks are happening on some accents. Cool. That's all I needed. Let's listen again. Now we need the compressor. Press, I was going to give it a little bit more, a little bit of a push. I think that I squashed. Right there. Goosebumps from that one. I got it. It's, it's on, it was on this one. This one. Make sure it's for pan, respectively. Yeah, it is. Okay. Houston, we have goosebumps. pretty good with that one so now i need to listen to what the what the music is telling me like where it's flowing i think it wants to go back to here and it does so we're going to extend it but there's something else we're going to do we're gonna expand on what where it's going. I need to figure out the dev cycle thing again. I'm gonna probably dig into the Discord. We love that piece right there. <laughs> I love it too. It's thank you, Eplots, appreciate it. Let's see. Um, I don't want to do. This is what happens if we duplicate it. Yes, yeah, see, I don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we just copy it over. Because we're repeating the piece, but we're going to do something a little different. So that it's always not the same. So what's going to happen is we're going to meet this one here. On the second part, I'm making a looping track. Yes, I'm making the looping track, but I'm writing the piece right now. And then I'm going to figure out where things loop. I'm trying to get a feel. Now that I have the green light for this to be an interactive, dynamic score for the game and using FMOD. I don't have it all set up yet, but I'm gonna, I typically write the music first, get all the live instruments and stuff that I wanna do in there, and then I dissect it and break it down and put it in, and then start working with it with FMOD and then testing it in the game. I love the tinkering process, I love it. That's why I'm a composer and technical sound designer because technical sound design means like where you're working that audio middleware to kind of make things match the mechanics and 
do, do some very interesting stuff that typically you don't get to see often or you do get to see often and you don't recognize. One of the best ones that did it, at least on a AAA scale, on the on an indie scale, the best interactive score I've seen that works together is Fez. On the AAA scale, the best one that I've seen it works together is Batman Arkham City. Lose a deceptive and difficult here. <laughs> Make them mad. Yeah, they are deceptive, but there is wait till I do wait till wait till we do the implementation. I'm gonna blow your mind even more. It's my fault. So on the second playthrough of the of the piece, when it comes out of this, it's gonna be gratifying. Because you come out of this like flourishment of feeling. Nighttime music right here. We're making it in the daytime. Okay, so now we're gonna add our marker right here. there adds a little bit more texture now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little phases to it because it's 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 okay but it could be better we've got a little phaser we're going to we're going to experiment this is the fun part okay we could try to i just need like a basic patch and then i start making my own actually you know what we're gonna make our own right now. Can we do that? There we go. Part of experimentation. Ears are psychoacoustically moving along with the way out. I'll do it again. It's very underneath. I want it to be subtle. So we need to adjust it a little bit more. get the sound when you play music on your if you play music on your phone and you, if you have like a speaker and you do this with your mouth like you make a wow 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 like a filter so i'm gonna call this like wow mouth that's what we'll call it wow save it in here just in case too. Wow mouth. There we go. We did a lot of work. <laughs> Wolf Cadet. Wolf Cadet. I'm glad you found that funny. I'm serious. Play music on your phone and then put the put it to put the speaker to your mouth and do 
and you'll hear the, the filter. It'll be crazy. It's great. Okay, so what we got here. I'm going to actually take some inspiration for some folk music, even though it's nighttime. It's not the background piece for the gamer like that. You're just in game farming and hanging out, and it's just a melody. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. That's what I'm trying to get. Is a uh, why does it do? Did you do it? <laughs> why does it do it? Well, what you're doing is you're adding, you're adding a tunnel of of like the sound is traveling one way through the air. But what you're doing is you're you're kind of sucking the sound out of the air and then controlling it with the shape of your mouth form, and then it's in real time like doing this <laughs> science yes we love it um the night was oh so lovely and beautiful and beautiful parade oh interesting so c to a g7 this is why so i got a little piano book and stuff i'm just looking through some po polka folk music but i'm trying to get some inspiration here for some other stuff so i'm just gonna put that there for now Let's look at the chords we got. I'm glad it blew your mind, Wolf Cadet. Everybody in the chat, if you want to do that, go ahead. If you already knew about it, you know, it's cool. So we got dum 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 dum. Oh, so uh, this is what I did last time, and this actually turned out to be pretty fun. Everybody, make up a fake no phone number. The numbers you can't use, okay, are these numbers here. Oh wait, did we use those last time? These are the seri this is the phone numbers you can't use. Okay. This would make it interactive. Whoops, that's not that's a lot of numbers. Let's do it. Let's do this better. Okay. I need a legit phone number. I don't need M you know, five eight eight two three hundred Empire, none of that. Those are the phone numbers you can't use. And based on the phone numbers that you use, I will make a new chord progression out of this. So this is the interactive part of the stream and how we get all involved. And yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And then what I'll do is I'll adjust it and such, and I'll be able to play the chords on the piano version. All right, so we got uh, 613-4289. That, that will work. Let's do that. Keep them coming too, because I'm going to, what I'm, what I end up doing was Everybody submitted a phone number, and then I made a new phone number after everyone's submission. So it can go a bunch of different ways. It doesn't just have to be, oh, well, that person chose, and they're not going to use mine. Nope, it doesn't work that way. So I'll probably, I will make a new phone number out of the series of phone numbers. So Wolf Cadet submitted 613-4289. Please do not use your own phone number. We do not want people calling you. Obviously, if you have no area codes, so nobody lives there, so nobody, but let's not call random people either. <laughs> and... We got another one, five eight one three nine four. All right, so let's do. Are we gonna roll with these? More chords. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. So far, we got two from Wolf Cadet. Anybody else want to throw theirs in? Yeah, big wiggle. Two six nine four one eight three. I'm going to also use home team number as well. So we've got that because I didn't see the area code in front of it, but we can, the area code isn't really necessary. <laughs> I win. <laughs> last week was the melody. Yes, that's correct. So this time we're going to use, actually, I think last week was melody and chords, but we're going to do something fun. All right. So we've got Wolf Cadet. Which phone number do you want to use? 613 or 581? Let's see. I'm going to choose for you. All right. The phone number is coming to me. I'm seeing it now. Yeah, let's do the 511. Okay, cool. All right, so the new phone number that we're going to use is home team was first. So we're going to use 2758. And then we have Big Wiggles phone number. 
as well. Six nine. There we go. Excellent. All right. I think this covers all the numbers. Pull the melody out from the thing. <laughs> Last week we did use the melody using the phone number. This is my this has been my technique. I came up with this on my own. So what I need to explain is everything is mathematical based in a sense, right? Everything uses numbers in a sense. And so if you ever watch the movie Perfume Story of a Murderer, very dark movie, but so definitely, you know, parental guidance and all the other stuff, but strong parental guidance whatever but and regardless uh, good movie about chords <laughs> and how music and stuff in that and the score in that is whew, oh my god it's so good it was i was crying from the score and the director did the score also if you're familiar with cloud atlas that director is the same director of this of perfume and composer as well side note that's called perfume store of a murderer this is the new phone number we're using. That's everyone who submitted. <laughs> no, not movie time right now. All right. So we have a new number we're going to use. And so in a scale, let's say for the C major scale, there are eight notes. You have one and eight. That's C to C. Then this is two, three, four, five, and this is six, seven, and this is eight. Back to the one. Right. Okay. So the number that I came up with based off of everybody's submission in the chat is two seven five eight one four three. So that would sound like this. If it was a melody, it would be in this key of C major. We're doing two seven five eight one. And that's what it sounds like. So how do we fit that into this? This time I'm going to do chords. Melodies are the same as chords. They're using the exact same series, except we're going to change it up a little bit. So I, even though I have that basis of the, the number, it has to fit the composition. What we did was a brainstorming writer's block thing, and also to keep the form of the show and interactive together. Again, like I came up with this because I realized that, that phone numbers and chords were in music and melodies were kind of using the same like thing. And that's typically known and taught in music theory too. There's a chord progression called four seven three six two five one. This is the this is called the circle of fifths phone number. In that case, I memorized it because we had to memorize it in school. So I figured, well, what if I could just do a different series of chords by diff having different people's phone number? And that way they're in the music as well. So you're part of the music by the your activity. And this is where it comes into cool, cool stuff. So, 275-8153. So now, in the case of this, we're in the key of E minor. All right. Wait, G, E, yeah. We could do that. One seven or the flat seven. Esports. ESPN. <laughs> That's what the music is in. Okay? So now two is this. This is two. So two seven five. Oh, two seven five. All right, that's gonna sound good. We need to see our chord options, and I'm gonna draw it out so that I don't know what play. And these are gonna play it for you. In this case, E minor would be G, and in this case, in this would be G minor. Let's make it more interesting. Let's put the in the chord that makes G minor is G, B flat, and D. Let's put the B flat in the bottom, and harmonically, that would be A sharp. Mm, this is going to be really cool. Let's pull that down here. Not into the roads. Actually, I think I'm going to introduce something new in this 
one here too. I love this instrument series so much. But if you, I know you explained it, but I really don't know <laughs> how you just did that. <laughs> I can re-explain it if you want me to. This instrument series is the best. G, F, G, F, G. I'm looking for... I'm looking for... What is it called? I'm just like blanked out. What is it called? Witnessing the magic. What is the name of the instrument series called? Yeah, what's it, Harry? <laughs> I th think I thought it was called cinema. There it is. I was like going crazy for a second. Okay. Let's listen to it with not the piano. Let's listen to it with this. Oops. Yeah, this. Unmute it. There we go. Okay, that's two. What was our phone number? 275-8143. And now we'll do a shorter one. So five, let's go back to our piano. Let's do a D major. Um, in this case, it would be, it, was, it should sound dissonant, but we're gonna make it better. We're gonna make it prettier. But I'm gonna add a nine. And then zoom it in. Then five. Five would be B major. Let's do the nine. In this case, D and D sharp in the bottom. Let's see if it works. Seven five eight one four three. This case would be back to E minor, which is good. Let's do a seven, but let's put the G in the bass. Okay, so that might be a little much. Let's let's listen to a piano. That's two, seven, five, eight, one. So in the case of this, eight and one will be combined because I was saying from C to C is C on the lower octave is one on the other upper octave there. Are you writing harmony from a phone number? Yes, I am. Laurent, I am writing harmony from a phone number. Welcome. I'm looking at your name, Laurent, and I, I freaked out for a second because I'm watching this great anime called Great Pretender, and Laurent is, <laughs> Laurent is in the anime, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I like that character, too. It's, it's pretty cool. All right, so we got two seven. And we're going to inflate that one. Also, we should have been looking at how many bars we're writing. Two, three, four. Should be going there. Two, four bars. Chat, say what's up to Laurent. 
they just got here. And we got, so we got four and three. So I think we'll be able to make it. Let's do a, oh, not that. Let's do a rent. Uh, what is it? We have to do four. We have to do A. It's going to sound good, I think. And then three, right? Bring it home, which is G. This is good. Do, uh, can we do a G? Mm. No, I'm trying to be fancy. Ooh, this could be Ooh. Ooh, yeah. To be a G, to be a G, to be a D, F, let's do F. No, let's do dark. Uh, let me hear what it sounds like. Oh, I need my book. So I have this book where I wrote down these chords in terms of like minor 11th and like the way that the voicing works. Yeah, here it is. It looks like this. So this is like my special voicing that I like to do. This is nothing like that you can't look up online or anything. It's not like it's a secret, but um, let's try it here. Oh, is that how that works? Into the G minor 11. Well, let's not do the octave. Let's just do G. I don't think that's right. I'm gonna want A flat and I want B. Nah. No, that's not right. I want the fifth. And I want this. Why isn't that? Oh, it's B flat. There we go. It sounds like this. Let's do that one. I want it to. Cool. It knows what to do. I wanted. Let's try to put the C in the bottom. Oh, the space bar is hidden. I was freaking out for a second. Uh, C is already in the bass there. So let's, let's do our voicing again. Um. It came from A. It could be a good way. Another really great composition score of who like masterfully can do this stuff is Castlevania at Lords of Shadow. Mm -mm, the A doesn't work. D? No, I don't want ambiguous. We might have to keep it as G. Yeah, that's be good. Okay, let's listen to it. Wait a minute. Did we mess up? We did. Two is a sharp. It's fine. It's easy fix. It's going to be quite interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm up to shenanigans. I blame all of you in the chat. You gave me the phone number, so now we're going to make it work. We're going to do it with the new instrument. We're going to mute it. Take this one off. Do this. I don't need this one here. Now we're just going to edit. <laughs> I accept full blame. Responsibility has been taken. I appreciate it. All right. We're just editing what we already have done. She so might go back to this. It might be a little much. And really what that just means is I need to kind of pull the rev back down here. <laughs> 
Yes, I'm I'm only teasing. I'm only teasing. Okay, so the only one needs to be. Adjusted is the only one needs to be adjusted. Mm, let's pull this one in a little bit. What I'm trying to do is mitigate the overlap. Who's playing guitar? You shouldn't be playing anything. Are you playing something? You are. Let's make sure we edit that down a little bit. There we go, I shouldn't hear anything now. Nope, we're still hearing stuff. Why is it, oh, because it doesn't allow me to edit at that level, okay. There we go, just couple that there, back to 32. Pull this to 16, it should be good now. Oh, it's still there. I think it's this one. Yep, it is. Get back there. Oh, that's too much. All right, that's good enough. Back to 32. There we go. No links, and I never got along. <laughs> Organized shenanigans that we provide. That's right. Here's the new part. All right, so this is actually happening a little too fast than I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this out a little bit. I'm going to pull this one here, and I'm going to get the feel of where it should be. That's what I want. I want it to kind of have linger. Yeah, this is coming together very nice. And then maybe this on the next next one. Thank you, Laurent. I want this back. Let's go it again. Who's playing? Are you playing? You are playing. What are you doing there? Go all the way down. See, the thing is, you gotta make note lengths work for you. They can't be running you. Okay, so now this should work. Okay, maybe I want that a full bar. The system. Yeah, I think I want that full bar. Let's listen to it again. Let's save it. more night timey. I like it. So this one is called what again? Cloud harmonics. I love this instrument so much. I've been using this for like the past couple scores I did this year. So let's just uh, tame it a little bit. I, now I'm getting into experimentation. Thank you, Big Wiggle. Is there a transient designer thing they put on there? It's kind of, nope, nope, there we go. Thank you. 
Let's add the EQ in there. Decided what I want to do with this. Where'd it go? Make sure we save what we did because I don't want to do it again. All right, let's give it a little bit more. up a little bit. You can turn off the lower bass one. Around there. Cool. So we did that. Now, that is part five. Let's see how it fits in. Let's go to part four. Now that we have that feeling, right, that we want to do, we're going to double it. And we need, I'm going to use, I think we're going to use, I need to figure out what percussion I want to kind of transition into. Let's actually dig into it now. Yeah, I'm a little curious. Thank you, Wolf Cadet. <laughs> I am super glad you are enjoying it. All right, and then we'll test it in the game. Effects pearls. I'm looking for something shimmery. I don't think that's going to have it. Oh, I know what to use. Let's go with our trusty. Where is it at? What's it called? called who's it by that's how i can remember it yep sampled ambient landscape instruments contact three and let's go with <laughs> the wind the flute inner light maybe no i remember that um Magic flutes, no. This looks exactly for what we're looking for. Shells, no. Spiritual bells, maybe this might work. It's too low. Tibetan bowl, shouts, wind chimes. Thank you. All right. A little loud right now. So turn them way down, put them on the mix down, and then let's uh, finish the layering, yeah? Okay, so for in this case, these are gonna have to be lower because they're just adding texture to make it more full in your ears. So we just gotta lower the velocities. Good there. Let's 
see how the texture difference is. Ooh, I got under goosebumps on that one. Hey, y'all made this. This is the chord progression 2758143. Pretty much it's a number short, but yeah, this is it. Uh, the chime actually startled me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean to startle. I think I did that earlier in the stream today. It was like, whoa. All right, we're saving this. And we need to make sure that this is also inside the instruments. So that we're adding it in. And this one too. Uh, we'll add chimes to the bottom. Just before. Oh, I'm gonna stick to this stick to the script. And say chimes. Save. And back to layer eight. Oh, it's perfect. So the texture is a little thick here. I like it how it builds in texture. Let's keep adding it. There. My gut's telling me to go with the Chetango, so we're gonna go with the Chetango. Let's go with that's really the highlight. Okay, let's listen to it. Oh, not that one. Let's go with this one because the velocities are different from that one. Oh, did I do something silly? I think I did. What is your minor? Okay, cool. I didn't delete these. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll add that in a second. Killer rent. So it's called Arpeggi 5. It's a arpeggiator. And I'm just adjusting the arpeggiations formats of it, pretty much. And to my liking, and then adjusting the velocities for the feel. And then I'm gonna probably double it in a sense. So actually we've, I like that arpeggiation. And I'm gonna solo, I'm gonna say MIDI. And I think it's merge MIDI loop, yep. Cool, so now we have it all in the loop. And I can just adjust that and recycle it. Put it here, turn the pedulation off, and there we go. Okay, so now what we'll need to do is just you know, I don't want to work that hard. So 
let's just bounce the MIDI. And then we can cut it again. I would have to do that individually each time, and I didn't feel like it. But I just I wanted to shift it up an octave. Okay, now this is very nice. It's going to be upper texture, but it's too loud. So we're going to adjust it down a little bit. And actually, we won't give this. This is how we expand the track a little bit more. You'll see what I'm going to do. again except this time when it introduces itself that doesn't play so now I can play with this arpeggiation more and do a little bit more fancy things because I just have the ideas. format actually let's let's actually properly adjust ourselves together. adjust the level of where it's coming from. So let's do 60 for each of these. Two and 
do that. I want to be able to see the velocity here. That would be cool. Instead of doing it there all the time. But I don't know what that's going to do it, outside of it. It should be smaller attacks. Okay. It's still pretty loud. Let's break it again. Forty to fifty-five. One play fifty-two. This one, and then let's just listen to these first three. Back down to like forty. What was our? What's our base? Remember our base, forty-seven. Okay. I want this one smaller, so we're probably gonna do forty-two. I just had the feeling to watch Family Matters for some reason. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Random feeling thoughts. Do a little bit lower. Let's do about 37. Let's do this one about 37 and five or something like that. Oh, that's too low. Let's go back to, to 42. Trying to get the right balance in the ear so something's not overpowering the other. And since I haven't used this, we'll probably. Oh, that's interesting. It's not even panned. So let's do that. I don't think I used it before. I will have a live kalimba that I could actually record, but I don't have a recording process just yet. Uh, we got a negative six. Let's pull it down to like there. That's pretty loud. So let's go back down to like 47. Let's just put it all at 47 or, or somewhere around there. I'm not going to do all this work again. I'm just going to copy it over. Add a little bit of shimmer to give it the extra shine. I want to contain some of those attacks. We know how to do that already. Let's put on our handy dandy neutron elements. This version, moving this version here. There we go. And we're extending this invitation out to the end. Okay. Weird idea. I'm going to try it. I don't know what it's going to do. But we're going to try and reverse this. That plane is very low. That's kind of cool. I think it's too much. So I wonder if it can meet me halfway. Oh. 
Okay, I have this small, weird idea. I'm going to try it. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to... I want it to kind of match the feeling of the reverse instrument we had. But I have to output it on a different part. So what I have to do is reroute it a different way for it to be triggered in the manner that I would like it to be triggered. Let's see if it works. <laughs> is the one right we did choose the right thing right we did okay so i guess it doesn't work on the output it has to be on the input unless we didn't try the other version all right i guess we'll have to go with this input way that's fine Let's use mod machine instead. You can hear each little piece, but the music is old. This <laughs> That's my point. It's a we focus on the textures, right? Should be happening in your ears with the kalimba, and I'll probably layer that with a little, little kalimba. I want this to happen a little faster. It's too much. system so yeah cool that's that we did a lot so let's save that instance this piece is called greenhouse aces mm -hmm. 
All right, time for that bass line. Now, I usually sing these out, so please bear with me. do on the piano first because I'm going to get excited. Okay, let's try that first. to get those, these things out and s as soon as I hear them. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll make it perfect in post, which is what we're doing now. Let's make sure that our thing is on 64. Save what we got, just in case. Drink some water. All right, back to edit. Save and hydrate. I love that. I need it on a t-shirt. Save and hydrate. All right, it's a little ahead of time. So let's move it a little bit. Let's mute the rest of it so we, that we don't hear anything else. So it's one, and then I think it's here. Yeah, this goes here. It's a little too much of a, a nudge, so we need to adjust it. A little low. Pull it up an octave. I think I want that in the lower octave. And then let, let that ring out. that down the octave. Oh, wait, I don't need that note there. Put that one here. Let's hear it again. coming in 
into something. this little piece here. Let's see if that works. Okay, that doesn't it. Nope, maybe the walk doesn't work. Maybe we need to just leave it hanging. All right, let's come. We got the baseline kind of down pretty much. I'm gonna let the bass line happen with more of the, with the second part of instruments. So we're gonna move it over. All right. And then we'll add the chimes and then coming close to the stream. It's almost three o'clock already. That's gotta be tighter. Do 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 do. That's gotta be a lot tighter. Can we tighten that up a little bit, please? Do ba ba boom bum ba boom. Better. 
as well. Save. Thank you. All right, let's do these chimes. Let's get close to the stream. I want it to end a little five minutes, three minutes before, sorry. Let's see what happens when we load into it. Just do that one. Look at that. Melted right in. Um, just kind of stereoize it out. Kind of give it a little bit of space. I'm actually going to cheat it a little bit. Give it a little bit more width than it needs. Cut it. Come back to that. All right. Up. Afternoon, thanks for sharing. Thanks to Laurent for joining into the stream. Have a wonderful day. Super happy to have you here. Have a good one. Let's do this one real quick. So this is really low because we had it there, but that's okay. This needs to be a little higher. This one higher too. Just kind of quantize it.
at least I'm getting items. How did our crops do? I bet they died. Housekeeping thing for rocking with me today. Um, Chase Bethia, you've been rolling with Game Audio Life. A little bit of everything that we got to promote. Kickstarter, Kindicate's doing one. It's their first one anywhere and everywhere. So be sure to check that out. Share with your friends. If you're feeling extra generous, be sure to, you know, give us a nice donation. They've got about 16 days to go, and I know they can do it. Yeah, let's do it. And, yeah, that'd be super cool if you could check that out. Uh, besides that, you know where to follow me. Uh, we've been posting in the chat where, but I super appreciate you. And until next time, shut it down, boys. Thanks, for everybody, rocking with me stream today. I really appreciate you. Chat, I appreciate you. See you later. We're gone.